Ay, ay, ay. The Mets just traded Mark Canna to the Milwaukee Brewers for right-handed pitching prospect Justin Jarvis, who's ranked number 30 in the Brewers organization. Canna, this is such a solid move for the Brewers. Before we get started, hit that like button, subscribe. You're about ready to hear me go some say some crazy stuff probably about the Mets. Yeah, this is... Oh, Justin Jarvis? We couldn't even gotten someone in the... Like... Uh, Okay, okay. I should. I'm getting over myself. Mark Canna this season, 245 average, six home runs, and 257 at bats, 29 RBIs, 725 OPS. For his career, 248 average, 108 career home runs, and a 770 OPS. Canna last season with the Mets uh, played an entire year, hitting 266 with 13 home runs. Canna, you know what he's going to get you. He's such, such a solid producer. He gets on base a lot. He's going to hit 250. He's going to get on base at a 350 clip. I mean, these are givens. He's going to hit you probably close to, you know, 10, 15 home runs, somewhere in that range. You know, given the chance to play every day in Milwaukee, he is going to thrive. Justin Jarvis is a 23-year-old in AAA. Actually, he split time between AA and AAA as his scouting grades 55 fastball, 45 curveball, 50 slider, 55 splitter, control of 50 for an overall of 40. Jarvis really hasn't put everything all together, but last season and this season, things are looking a little bit more promising. Last season, 2.83 ERA between uh, A ball and double A uh, in 141 innings pitch. This season, 4.33 ERA, better in double A, had a 3.33 in 14, just got promoted to triple A, made three starts so far. Um, but in his 17 starts this season, 87 and a third innings pitch, he struck it out 102 and only walked 38 to bring his whip to a 1.42. His problem, he gives up a lot, a lot of hits. He strikes out a good number of guys, but he just isn't getting the swing and misses that you would once hope for out of a pitcher. He sits 93 to 95 with a four seamer and a low eight slider with a mid uh, 70s curveball. So he has some room to put some weight on. He's ranked 30 in the Brewers organization. Brewers are a middle of the pack organization. All right, let's let's say some things about this trade for both sides here. I just I just took a minute to read some things up and kind of gather my thoughts because as a Mets fan, I tend to be kind of impulsive with stuff like this. For Mark Canna, he was a great Met. He's from the area I currently live in. He's super consistent, super steady, will get on base. He's going to help the Brewers make the playoffs. He is going to play every day. He doesn't get hurt. He performs it, he does what's expected of him. Average defense. He he's a pro. He's an everyday player. That's exactly what you you guys are getting. And for the Mets, I suppose we didn't play him every day, and I suppose we didn't get the return that I was expecting. But upside here, Baseball America has Jarvis ranked number twelve on their midseason Brewers list. Initially seeing thirty, I thought that it was an absolute fleece. However, it seems like Jarvis has some stuff. And with the Mets system that's starting to actually develop pitchers, believe it or not, I, I'm actually very interested to see what Mets Twitter says about this because we're like, you didn't get a pitcher, you didn't get a pitcher. And then now we get a pitcher and he's ranked number 30. I was be like, come on, we expected more. You know, like I said in the intro, I was expecting more for Canna. And I suppose for an everyday player that's rental that the Mets probably weren't keeping around next year, I, I, I suppose this is better than nothing. And better than the unranked reliever, we're getting a starting pitcher to build some depth. I'm actually not totally against it. With that being said, 3-3-3 three, three, three ERA and 14 AA starts. Rule 5 ed eligible, so they're going to have to, uh, the Mets are going to have to put him on the 40-man roster. Super tall and skinny, looks like Chris Bassett. I mean, I suppose for Canna, we got something back. But yeah, overall, for the grades of this trade... I'm going to give the Brewers a B plus. You really didn't give up a whole lot in your system to get Mark Canna. And I think Mark Canna is going to be a pro. You have the a huge, huge, by the way, which is why I thought we probably could have netted more, which is probably what's blurring my thoughts. He has a team option, a club option for next season for like $11.5 million. You can keep him around next year, which is huge for the Brewers. The Mets probably weren't going to keep him, which is, you know, probably good they got something so you know you see both sides here and for the Mets I'm gonna give you a C plus I really thought there'd be more um I'm biased of course but we got something I suppose so better than nothing overall I want to know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below as always hit that like button subscribe Mets fans ugh.
We're trading people, baby. I, I don't know what to say. I, I gotta, I'm going to make a video post trade deadline about the Mets. So come back for that. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.